This video is for Chapter 7, Section 7.1, for the math activity forming bar graphs with color tiles. We'll use an experiment to form color tile bar graphs and analyze the distribution. You'll need color tiles or some sort of marker, a 1 to 4 spinner, and a paper clip, and some grid paper. You can make your own copy of the grid, or you can use the link below this video and print a copy of this grid here. It's fun to use paper spinners with paper clips, especially if you're working with children, but there are virtual spinners as well. I've linked this under the video, and you can see I've set this to one spinner with four sides and you can spin. The way that we proceed with our experiment is we place a tile on the start square. Then we spin our spinner and notice this is red and green. The 1 and 4 are green and the 2 and 3 are red. And we move the tile right if we land on red and left if we land on green which you can just associate with the numbers. And so we continue spinning and moving a tile forward until we get to the end of the shaded squares and then we start making our bar graph by stacking our tiles up in a bar graph shape above the letters. So in this picture there's a blue tile here above A and we got that by starting here and spinning left, 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 left. So four greens in a row. And what spins would we need? Because there are more than one options to get to the B and the C that are pictured here. Then we ask some questions about this. Do you think that every lettered square has the same chance of receiving a tile? You should explain that and write down why you think what you give as an answer. Now you should assume this process is carried out 32 times with 32 tiles. Make a prediction. How many tiles will be above each letter? Then in part B, we say using a new tile each time, actually go through. Put the tile, do the spinner, get to the top, leave the tile, and go on. And then from your results, which squares are more likely to have a tile land on them? And does that match your prediction? It's really fun to combine class results when you do this once everybody has spun and moved 32 tiles into a bar graph. There's a link to this sheet below the video and for example if team 4 spun these numbers which you remember you're going to have yours add up to 32 it would make a bar graph and if I added for team three, I'd get a different bar graph. Then in number two, we talk about the pathways. So this diagram shows that there's only one way to get to that letter A, all green or left spins. So how can you get to the other letters? How many paths are there all together? Write these down through a series of spins. Then, which percent of all possible paths lead to that letter? And in part C, we say if you completed this process of spinning and moving tiles 128 times, what numbers of tiles might you expect on the top? The idea here is to think about distributions and bar graphs to form some initial opinions and then do an experiment 
and see how your experiment matches your initial opinions and if they change your initial opinions. It's a classic problem, this basic distribution. I hope you have fun with Math Activity 7.1, Forming Bar Graphs with Color Tiles.